and of the National Assembly, the Senate has asked the U.S. authorities to conduct a thorough investigation into the circumstances that led to the helicopter crash, which killed the last which claimed the lives of topmost bankers Herbert Wigwe, Abimbola Gumbanjo, and others. The upper legislative chamber also resolved to send a high-powered delegation to attend the burial ceremony in River State. National Assembly correspondent Sidi Swadewe reports. The Senate notes with deep sadness the death of prominent Nigerians who lost their lives in a helicopter crash on Friday involving Herbert Wigwe, his wife, son, and the group chairman of the Nigerian exchange group, Abimbola Ugubanjo. They described the unfortunate incidents as a huge loss to Nigeria and the world at large. The lawmakers, while recounting events with the deceased, say they were sorely missed for their contributions to national and human development. I urge the Senate to call on the United States of America and its relevant agencies in conjunction with our Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Nigerian Safety Investigation Bureau under the Ministry of Aviation to conduct a comprehensive investigation into the immediate and remote cause causes of this unfortunate tragedy. That was Herbert Wige for you. He had touched many lives. He contributed to the development of so many young ones and he had raised so many young people. As we mourn his friend Herbert Wigwe, we also pray that God in his infinite mercies will grant repose to the soul of Mr. Bimbola Ogubanjo. The Senate observed a minute of silence and also called on the U.S. Embassy to carry out a thorough investigation on circumstances that caused the crash. So that the lives he touched, the children he paid school fees for, the people he gave seats for pilgrimages, both Christian and Muslim pilgrimages, the people he employed and put food on their tables, the university he built for people to have education, and generally, his conduct during life will never be forgotten. In another development, the Senate has also constituted a 43-member committee to review Nigeria's 1999 constitution. The committee will be chaired by the Deputy President of the Senate, Senator Barao Jubrin, while the Senate leader, Senator Okwayemi Bamidele, acts as his deputy. The committee will be inaugurated on Tuesday next week. Tijesu Adio, it's News.